A pleasant good day everyone. My name is Sister Tiffany. I attend the New Bird Church of God under the stewardship of Bishop Alan Marichou and Pastor Marie Marichou. I shared a testimony a little while ago and I just want to you know give another part of my life another testimony which is very personal to me. Before coming to the New Bird Church of God I would have never known what it is to love properly. Not only love properly, but be a very calm, meek, gentle person. Um, all through high school, it was this aggressive side. It was a very... It, it had no love in Sister Tiffany. There was always a violent side of Sister Tiffany. And coming to know Christ, coming to understand the fullness of God, understanding the mercies of God, church god did a complete turnaround um in my younger days going to school i was very aggressive a very very aggressive child um my solution for everything was fight my solution to fix everything was violence there was never a day i would sit down and say girl you know there's a better way to do things there's a better way to handle things no the only thing that could fix things is violence and when I was about to leave high school I got into an altercation or a fight with a young woman it was out of school and um, I had got myself into some trouble the young woman sustained some injuries and um, her family took me to court and church I want to thank God it might sound funny now it might sound kind of way now but I want to thank God for that moment because what was supposed to be something to destroy me or something to probably bring me down, you know, and it's me putting myself there, God turned it around for good. Church, when I entered those court doors and I saw the injuries that the young lady sustained, I say, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, Sister Tiffany going to prison. But for the moment why the magistrate was speaking and you know the young woman explaining what happened these two or three gentlemen walked on the other side of the door on the other side of the court there was two doors these young men had chains about their feet hands and waist and for some reason i was hearing the chains louder than everybody else i believe that is what was happening there was like this this silent blur of everybody else and the chains were so loud in my eyes it was like this echoing voice and after hearing that you know the magistrate and the entire court staff the entire courtroom got quiet after apparently she called me and i didn't reply and the court got quiet and then she was asking me some questions and she said you know you can go to prison for this and immediately my heart dropped to the bottom of my right toe and she was like but you know something everybody deserves a second chance in life and she started to speak to me and i don't believe it was her that was speaking i believe that it was christ speaking through her and everything she said to me it didn't just brush the flesh but it touched my heart to the maximum that's why i that's why I'm saying I, I believe it was God. And church from there and then I can say that happened in 2016. Of course, I had to, you know, uh, compensate the young woman for her damages and damages done to her. But that was minor compared to the grace of God that was given unto me. You know, and I want to thank God for that moment that he saved a wretch like me. Thank God for that amazing grace. And church, I'm telling you, if God could turn that side of me, around he could do it for you because sometimes we think that our way is the right way sometimes we think that our way of doing things is the correct things but you see coming to the new world church of god and being led by the holy spirit under a man that is led by the holy spirit that is leading you by the holy spirit you understand what is love you understand what is peace you understand to not fight your battles on your own you understand not to take things into your own hands you understand to give it to god because god is your defender he's your fighter he is the one that will make a way where there seems to be no way. When the enemy come in one way, they will have to flee seven different ways. You would then understand that people will say things, people will do things that you may not like, that you may be displeased with, but understand to be swift to hear, slow to speak, and to hold fast to that which is good. And I am telling you, when that happened to me, I 
I attended the New Birth Church of God thereafter and you know I got baptized and everything in me shifted something totally shifted in my life and mind you this was after for those of you who heard my first testimony this was a few years after the bishop had come to my home and prophesied into my life about what I was going to be for God you know and all the while I was doing what I was what I was not supposed to do doing my own thing and God was just looking at me like did I ever really think he will have you you know but I, it, this is all part of something greater a lot of people would say you know you real change you would have never let something like this slide a couple of years ago but now you're just you're cool it's like it is what it is and I want to thank God for that because it's a joy for me to see how God can turn your whole life around. And church, I'm telling you, I want to thank God for Pastor Marie. Pastor Marie is such a humble woman. She speaks without saying a word. Her attire, the way she carries herself has taught me a lot as a young woman how I should carry myself. She teach me to be seen and not heard, but heard. Because the way you carry yourself, you speak that. You know, the word of God says, you know, preach the word of God and if necessary, use words. And, that's, and that is the same way she carries herself. And Pastor Maria, I want to say thanks for that. Bishop, I want to say thank you for, you know, teaching me the things of the Spirit. To let me understand that there is something bigger than me and I don't need to jump out of myself to take things into my own hands. Let God deal with it. You know, I really, really want to thank God for Pastor Marie and Bishop Alan Marie showing a mighty when I want to thank God for God because if it is if it was not for him being who he is in my life today, y'all might probably just been hearing about his sort of thing. You know, and not in a nice way. So you know, I just want to tell you that he has turned my story around. You know, it's no longer the fighter, but the warrior for Christ Jesus. It's no longer the hater, but it's just Jesus, the lover of my soul. I want to thank God for the day that he saved a wretch like me. And church, trust him, trust him, keep fighting, keep fighting pushing i telling you is one of the greatest feelings alcohol cigarettes drugs whatever it may be party men women nothing nothing could give you this amazing feeling that you receive from the holy spirit you see when we use these things or we return to these alcohol and drugs and sex and and lime and party these things are temporary these things are just temporary but when you come to the fullness of god you would understand that it doesn't just temporarily fades but it's a permanent situation it's a permanent joy it's a permanent peace that pass all understanding my god church hold on to the balance we hold on to christ jesus hold on to the truth fine he is the only thing the only thing that we need in the time of trouble and in our good times and our bad times he is always there just trust him church